Ukraine receives Soviet 57mm S-60 anti-aircraft weaponry from Poland. The Tallinn Declaration was a joint statement made by eight nations. They are the Czech Republic, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Great Britain, Denmark, and Slovakia. The Tallinn Declaration details the package of Polish military assistance to Ukraine, which is reportedly to consist of undisclosed S-60 anti-aircraft guns and a 70,000 round supply of ammunition. It is unknown which variant and how many guns will be transferred to Ukraine, whether they will be non-modernized units from the military property agency, which may still have quite a few of this artillery anti-aircraft system, or whether they will be S-60 MB from the US Polish fleet that have already undergone modernization. By incorporating them with the brand new Blender automated fire control system, those that are still in use by the Polish army have been updated. They were planned to be replaced in the future by anti-aircraft weapons obtained through the NOTEC program, but this issue has not yet been resolved. The S-60, a 57mm anti-aircraft gun used by the Soviet Army starting in 1950, along with the Zu-23 cannons, became the main anti-aircraft artillery system of the Warsaw Pact. The basic model's range is 4,000 meters, while the radar-equipped model's range is 6 kilometers. This gives you the ability to eliminate targets far farther away than the Zu-23, which has a maximum range of 2.5 km. Its only current function is to destroy low-flying objects like drones or helicopters. The S-60 S armor-piercing bullets are capable of penetrating any Russian infantry fighting vehicle or wheeled armored personnel carrier's armor at a distance of 1,000 meters, which equates to the equivalent of around 100 mm RHA. An MBT like a T-72 or T-80 can also have its side or rear armor penetrated. <laughs>